it feels so good to finally have a new studio space. So I love arts and crafts, specifically paper crafting and watercoloring. And I recently got two kittens that have pretty much destroyed my house and stopped me from doing any sort of crafting. So I found a space which is close to my current store, which is a secondhand art and craft supply shop where people trade in supplies that they don't want to get store credit. It's called Bottom of the Bin, the name of this channel. And I have my new studio now. I even have a cozy little space to relax, watch some TV and do some games when I get tired of crafting and I'm excited to share a tour so you can see everything that I've been working on so over here is my desk setup where I have some basic supplies and these two awesome carousels which pretty much house things that I'm constantly reaching for like my watercolor supplies and my common tools scissors and pens and pencils all of that I also have a glue gun handy with glitter glue as well and washi tape which I use for pretty much everything this little drawer organizer has some extra watercolor supplies that didn't quite fit in the carousel as well as these spectrum noir sparkle glitter paint which I have not gotten a chance to play with but let me know if you want me to do that through a video and this last drawer here has some stamping supplies such as acrylic blocks and brushes and my heat gun over here is my pink Cricut I also have a mint one that you saw over by the TV yes I have two in fact I have three but the other ones over at the retail space and this little cart also has some more things I reach for often such as my tape runners foam tape glitter embossing powder and more and this is my printer although i would love to get a different one it prints on 12 by 12 cardstock so i'm hoping to be able to get that in this space one day these two giant rainbow drawers are full of all sorts of different cardstock sorted by color and theme and my calyx shelving my cube shelves are my pride and joy here i display all of my bright and colorful pop dots and inks and alcohol sprays pretty much everything that i want on display that also serves as my backdrop for when i'm streaming and creating youtube videos these are all of my inks i've been meaning to go through and actually swatch all of them on the side so that i can easily see what color it is without having to pull it out and look and pretty much every shoe box you see like this is full of paper flowers that i use for my greeting cards i love using 3d florals and here are the inks and the pop dots. Now the inks I actually use a lot to make my own custom backgrounds and papers and my pop dots and sparkle dots are used pretty much as embellishments on everything I do. These clear drawers have a bunch of different focal points that I use for card making and journaling. As you can tell, my aesthetic is very shabby chic, vintage, I love pastels and rainbows. These drawers are also full of more embellishments and focal points, including sequins and these adorable little butterflies I love to use on my greeting cards. And we've also got a little tiny tray full of sequins for shaker cards. Now, all of these bins are full of some supplies that actually probably need to be broken down even further. For example, this one is full of clear stamps and wooden stamps, and it's just too disorganized to be able to go through them this way. So I'm hoping to get a larger drawer organizer cart so they can actually separate them by theme and type. And this is just some different mediums, such as my Mod Podge, my Gesso, my 3D gels, my texture paste. Um, pretty much most of these are used for my art journals and my vintage journals, um, but they're really good for pretty much any mixed media project. And this definitely needs to be broken down further. I've got all sorts of embossing folders, dies, matching stamps, and my little cutting machine. I've also got a bunch of paper punches, including the Happy Planner one, where I can make my own custom pages, which I need to do more of. I don't use those nearly enough. And this bin is full of all of my vintage journaling supplies, including lace, sentiments, collage paper, and a whole bunch of different types of like music paper and book paper. And this is a fun, colorful bin with all of my colors, markers, gelatos, colored pencils, uh, definitely could be organized a bit better. Here's one of my drawer organizers, which I think I could fit a second one next to it for my stamps or my dies. And on top, I've got my stamping platforms, my score pal, and my custom envelope maker. Now this one is full of stickers, all sorted by type. So we've got 3D stickers, sentiments, flat stickers. I've also got a drawer with some like different gems and rhinestones. And at the very bottom, we have all of my different chipboard elements, including some beautiful vintage frames. And on the very bottom, more chipboard sentiments and frames and window cutouts. So here is a bit of a wider look at everything and a bin full of florals that I still need to use to decorate my shelving and probably some of the empty walls and probably put some in 
vases. And I have scented candles and wax melts to add some ambiance. This is my streaming and recording setup. I have my Blue Yeti microphone, which is tried and true. I've had it for years. And my mouse and keyboard, which I hope to replace with a pink or pastel set very soon. So thank you for coming along on my studio tour. Let me know if you have any ideas for what I could organize better or what to do with these big empty walls. And I'm so excited to be able to film some crafting videos for y'all. So let me know what you want to see in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Bottom of the Bin, my secondhand art and craft supply shop. It's located in Tampa Bay, Florida, but we have a very active Facebook page and group and website if you want to see what we're up to. See you all next time.